Hi, my name is Lauren Fenstermacher and I am a wildlife education specialist at Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area. Today we're going to talk about installing nest boxes on your property. These are two examples of eastern bluebird boxes. The one right here is a new box ready for installation. While this box has been up for a few years and has a more weathered look and is blending in with its surroundings. Eastern bluebirds were once fairly common in the state, but because of clean farming practices and removal of nesting cavities, their numbers declined. By adding boxes like these to your property, you can help increase numbers locally on your property. This bluebird box is located in an open landscape away from brushy edges and wooded areas. When installing the box, make sure the box is three to five feet off the ground and facing away from prevailing winds. For new nest boxes, they should be installed by the end of February or the beginning of March. For existing structures already on your property, the best time to clean them out is in the beginning of March as well. Eastern bluebirds are not the only wildlife structure that you can have on your property. For property owners that have existing bat populations, you can also install a bat box. This is an example of a bat condo that we have here at Middle Creek. But for landowners, you can buy or build a smaller bat box that you can incorporate into your property. For landowners who have ponds, streams, or wetlands on their property, you can install a wood duck box. Wood ducks are a cavity nesting waterfowl species. As far as the location of placing wood duck boxes, make sure your boxes are located over water or close by. Ducklings that leave the nest need something to land on since they are not capable of flying. Wood duck boxes should be installed by March and should be placed four to six feet off the ground facing water. Because wood ducks do not bring their own nesting material in, wood shavings should be placed in the box during installation. While adding nesting structures to your property adds wildlife viewing opportunities, it can also attract predators. Here are two examples of predator guards that you can put on your boxes. The first is more of an avian predator guard. This is just coated chicken wire and this type of predator guard is called a Noel trap. It prevents avian predators from coming into the existing structure. This is a household coffee can that you can install to the bottom of your nesting structure to prevent predators from climbing up to get to your boxes. This nesting structure is an American kestrel nest box. American kestrels are the smallest falcon in Pennsylvania. Their habitat requirements are similar to that of the eastern bluebird in that they need open areas for the nest box and then boxes need to be placed away from wooded areas. Old or reverting fields are a great place where you can place an American kestrel nest box. American kestrel boxes should be placed at least 10 to 12 feet off the ground. The box should be placed so that the entrance is not exposed to any rain or wind. Because American kestrels do not bring in their own nesting material, wood shavings should be placed in the box during installation. If you're interested in adding nest box structures to your property, please visit our website and in the search bar type nest box structures. From there, you'll be able to find the individual species plans for each nest box structure that you can incorporate on your property.